Today, I would like to talk to you about our bell schedules here at Chardon High School. Chardon has three different bell schedules that we follow in a traditional week. When I say traditional week, I'm saying a five-day work week. During that five-day work week, students will experience three different schedules. Typical schedules will be considered as white, red, or black based on our school colors. A Monday schedule was also considered a white day schedule. In a traditional white day schedule, students will have all of their periods in a day. Students will arrive to school uh, no later than 7, 18, 7, 19, and report to their class, which begins at 7, 20. Classes are 47 minutes. The bell will ring, giving students four minutes between each bell. Students will transition to second period following the same timeline, and then again travel to third and fourth period. Student schedules will be posted in Infinite Campus, and they will be able to see which period they have each course. After fourth period, students have something called topper time. This is a time in which students in grades eighth grade will go to lunch, as noted here, and then students who are in grades nine through 12 will go to a place called topper time. During that time, freshmen will go to freshman mentoring. It is posted on your schedule and it is an opportunity for you to get reacclimated to high school life where seniors along with a teacher will help students on Monday, Tuesday, and Friday, not only learn the school and learn what it means to be a leader, but also provide them intervention time and also family Fridays. During that time, as I mentioned, eighth grade will eat lunch in the cafeteria together. And when the bell rings at 1104, then students will transition to their fifth period class. Noted on each student's schedule is something that says A, B, C, or D. All the eighth graders eat in a lunch and all ninth through 12th graders will note that they will eat an either B, C, or D based on when it's posted in their class. Fifth period is our longest period because we have these lunch periods. So the classes are a little bit longer, but there are transitions placed inside of each uh, time slot where you will be able to not only go from class to lunch and then back to class, or you might have class B and C and have lunch D, or you might have class uh, B, lunch C, back to class on D. Most students are used to this in grades nine through 12, and this might be new for all eighth graders. We will make sure that all students know where they're going on the first week of school and continue to help them throughout to make sure they're navigating to the right locations. In 5D, eighth graders who just had lunch in A and then had class BC go to something called the circuit of success. Those students will go to four nine week skinny courses where students will learn the principles of communication or leadership or entrepreneurship or global awareness or innovation, problem solving, and they will learn uh, many things that will help them get and receive the Ohio Means Job Readiness Seal. It is a great program that we developed here at Chardon High School, helping our eighth graders not only get acclimated to high school life, uh, but also to get prepared for life. After 5D, students go into sixth period, which is 47 minutes long, transition to seventh period, which is also 47 minutes, 47 minutes long, and the class day ends at 225. When the bell rings, students who are riding a bus certainly will gather their belongings, head out front and find the right bus uh, that will take them home. Car riders uh, will wait until after the buses have dismissed uh, to be picked up about 235 out front. And all students who are uh, riding to school or driving to school will go to the student lot. This schedule, a white day schedule, continues on Tuesday. So on Monday and Tuesday, students will have all of their periods. And then on Wednesday, we transition to what we call late start. Uh, on Wednesdays, teachers are in PLCs. And what is that? 
those are opportunities for teachers to collaborate, to work together in teams. They're oftentimes teaching multiple courses. Those teachers will be in the same rooms together from 7.20 to 8, and then from 8 to 8.50, and they are collaborating, they're learning, they're applying what students have learned, what they can do to apply and help them learn more, um, and also uh, looking at ways in which they can make uh, those courses uh, very comparable uh, for all students. So late start, students can arrive on a regular bus, they can come to school where we will have uh, teachers uh, and or educational aides in the cafeteria and gymnasium so they can have a study hall. Uh, but the bell rings at 8.50 that day where car riders can drop off students uh, at any point uh, between the time of 7 to 8.50 and student riders can come to school at that time. There's also other things happening during that period where there could be makeup tests or if you miss a class, there's oftentimes where you can connect with your teacher. Every Wednesday is a late start. And the first class that you have is second period. You might say, oh, that's strange. I just had first through seventh, and now on Wednesdays, why do I begin with period two? No, we have seven periods. So if you, we had eight periods, we can even things out, but we have seven. So we have our late start on Wednesday, and then we do our uh, even classes on Wednesdays. We have periods two, four, and we have six. Those classes are approximately 95 minutes long. Same idea that happens after second period is that students uh, go from second period to lunch. Note that on our block day schedules, students don't have the circuit of success. So all our eighth graders would eat an A, and then those students would then go on the class for the rest of the period. And then if you have a student that eats in B, they go to class and then they go to lunch and they go back to class. The same thing continues for all of the other courses, whether you have C lunch and then you have A, B class and then a C lunch uh, and then or you have a D lunch where you go to class and then you go to lunch uh, for the 30 minutes that are after that. The bell rings and then you go to your last period, which is again, 95 minutes long. We really believe over the last several years, it's been almost five years that we've been living in this schedule that we were a once traditional bell schedule of 10 periods in a day for over 40 years. And our teachers were able to go out and see other schools and what schools are doing and do some research and figure out that this schedule fits our needs the best. You can have the best of both worlds where you can have classes every single day, and then you can ex expand learning uh, longer periods where you can have labs and other hands-on experiences where they don't have, don't have as much interruption. That is our red day schedule. Our Thursday schedule, our black day schedule, uh, includes having periods one, three, five, and seven. Just like you had on your first two days of school where you had fifth period lunch, same idea happens here. Classes begin at 7.20 on Thursday. They are 95 minutes long. They transition over to third period, one, three, five, and seven. Again, 95 minutes long. And then if a student has an A lunch, a B lunch, or a C lunch, or even a D lunch, you will go to lunch during the time that's marked in red. The other times you're going to be in that class period. After fifth period, you transition to seventh period where your class day continues and ends at 225. And then on Friday, it's our white day schedule. So as a parent, as you're listening to this, you're saying, wow, that's very confusing. Uh, it's really not confusing for the students uh, that come to school. They get into the routines and they understand white day schedule, all classes. And then their red day schedule, late start, 246. Black day schedule, 1357. White day schedule, all of my classes. We communicate this every week in the week in reflection. And we also communicate this and post this in the classroom so that students know what schedule it is. 
There are other schedules that we follow for various events that we have, if we have an assembly or we have other things that occur like a testing schedule, but this is our traditional schedule that we follow uh, literally about 95% of the school year. If you have any questions, you can certainly ask any of your teachers, you can see any of your counselors, uh, but this is gonna put closure to this video today and we are looking forward to helping you on the first day of school.